hello everyone this is cash today I will be doing this Rihanna inspired makeup look if you want to see how I created this look just stay tuned I hope you enjoy this video okay so the first color that I used and I already put it on is this um, burgundy color right here I'm not sure exactly which the name of this palette but yes I use the burgundy as my transition color and I'm just going to apply a little bit more on this side because this side looks a little bit brighter to me and I am using my blending brush my MAC um, snow glow palette I am going to add this gold to my lid this gold I hope you can see that and I'm using a large um, eyeshadow brush to just apply that to my lid. From the same Max No Glow palette, I'm going in with this dark brown, and I'm using this brush because I'm going I'm going to do the outer V of my eyes, just to deepen the color a bit. Using my blending brush, I am going in with this brown right here, and this is from my NYX Beauty Box to go right here, right above where I place the dark brown. my blending brush and this color from the max no glow palette and I'm just going to use a small bit of it and I'm going to blend out the shadows that I have um, the transition color and the brown that I added next I'm going to use a small um, shadow brush and I will be taking this color right here it is a matte um, nude and I'm just going to use that as my highlight Next I'm going to take a black eyeliner and I'm just going to line my top lash. I'm also going to use a black eyeliner to line my waterline. <laughs> 
Okay, next I'm going to do my foundation. The foundation that I will be using is the Black Opal Even and the True Foundation. I'm not going to use a concealer with this. I just want I want you to see how the foundation looks without any concealer. And I'm using my Elf Flat Top Brush like I always do. Blending some foundation onto my neck so that my neck and my face has the same color. Okay, so this is what the foundation alone looks like. And this is what the eyes look like so far. Next, I am going to be adding some blush from this blush palette. I will be using this orange shade blush. I'm going to mix these two. These two, orange and a little bit of uh, dark red. So those are the two shadows that I'm going to Sorry, those are the two blushes that I'm going to use to create the look that I'm going for. What I'm going to do to deepen it just a little bit, I will be using this bl blush that has a bit of shimmer in it from my Mary Kay palette. So I'm just going to put just a little bit of that over this. And instead of using a highlight, I'm just putting it on um, the top of the blush. Alright, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to highlight my nose so that I have, you know, my nose looks a bit straighter. And my forehead. I'm just going to use the window though. And for the highlight, I use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn. I'm going to use my fingers for the nose. to be a, I'm going to do a light contour using um, my Revlon color stay in the color mocha it's um, darker than I am I'm going to be using this and I'm going to be using this elf um, blush brush to just do a light contour Same for my new one, just a little. Next, 
I'm just taking this um, black opal invisible oil blocking powder and I'm going to put that all over my face to stop some of this shine because I'm sweating already alright and this really helps to the oil to control the oil when you do your foundation and I'm just patting it in I'm using a little because it can come off a, a bit ashy sometimes so I'm just using just a little I've already lined my lips with this dark brown Santi pencil and the lipstick that I will be using is by Jordana it's a dark purple and it's 022 Fiesta 